Welcome back once again. In this section, we're going to look at how to build in logic to your form. Um, you may have situations where, based on the answer of one question, you want to ask different questions. Um, in our situation here, we have the question, do you like ice cream? Well, if the person answers no, it's really not fair to them to force them to go through and answer the question, pick your three favorite ice creams, because they don't like ice cream. So we want to give them the option, and it's basically what I'm calling in this particular one, a bailout option. Now, we do want everyone to answer this question, how helpful is this survey? So we need to do two things. We need to create what are called sections. And the sections, this is your, sec, you know, add a section break. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to have this selected and I'm going to hit add, select, um, add section. And it created a new section here. And I'm going to click and drag using the six dots at the, above my question and drag it down here to the second section. And I'm going to call this, no, I don't like ice cream. And then up here at the top, um, right after our question about do you like ice cream, I'm going to click here and I'm going to add another section. And because of the fact that there was a question above and a question below, Google inserted the section break between the two questions. When I created the first one down below, that was the last question, so it didn't know for sure what to do. So I probably could have done a better job of that. But here we are at section two of three, and we're going to call this the, yes, I like ice cream. Now we want to click here on our question, because this is our decision point. Based on their answer of this question, it's going to send them to one of two places. And to find the option to turn that feature on, you come here to the three dots, and you go to, you, you pick the one that says, go to section based on answer. And that gives us this additional field here. So I can hit continue to next section, which is section two, or I could specify the yes, I like ice cream. Um, in this, could, you know, this particular question, you could do either option, but I'm gonna go ahead and be very specific. Under no, I wanna go to section three. No, I don't like ice cream. And then on maybe, again, I could just continue to section two because that is the next section and it is the section called yes I like ice cream so personal preference there now once I get through the section that I'm answering you need to make another decision um, in this situation we do want them to continue from section 2 to section 3 to answer how helpful this um, was and actually the no I don't like ice cream really isn't a good title for this so I'll change it to helpfulness and that way it will you know not confuse them if they see the no I don't like ice cream um, you could also, depending on the form, you could have them, once they fill out this section, just go to the submit form. Um, both options work. Um, in this situation, we do want them to continue, but that will not always be the case. So that's how to build in logic to your form. Um, you can have as many logical spots as you need or want um, to get the results you need. And this feature, by the way, only works with a multiple choice and drop down. Now, another thing that you may want to do is called validation. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a field and it's going to be email address. And by default, it changes it to short answer. And then here under more, I can go to response validation. And then you're going to select here, you're going to select text. Now you could do number, you could do length, so you can keep them from uh, to entering only so many, you know, letters or numbers in the answer. Uh, but for the purposes of email, to confirm that they ha actually enter an email, you can go to text and then under contains email address. Or if you wanted a web address, you could you know, force them to enter in a web address. For here, we're going to say email. 
and I could make it required if I would like. So that's some enhancements that you can add to your um, form to get more information, get the right information, um, give them logic. Hope you enjoy that and look forward to the next one.